Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to determine the row reduced form of the metric. I'm going to show you by hand first. First, I write down the metric in the augmented form first. Multiply the first row by minus 1. Then 1, 1, 0, 0. Second row remains unchanged. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, minus 2, 3. Alright, and now in the first row. So this will be the leading one in the first row. Now after I obtain leading one in row 1, I must do some row operations so that I will get 0 below leading 1. So the way I get 0 below leading 1 is multiply a row by a number and add to it. minus 1 times row 1, add to row 2. So I will get the entry. First row remain unchanged. First row times minus 1 add to row 2. I get 0. 1, 2, 3 in the second row. And then I take minus 3 times row 1. Add to row 3. They will give me 0. Minus 1 times one time minus 3, add to 3, get 0. 1 times minus 3, add to 2, get minus 1. 0 times minus 3, add to minus 2, get minus 2. 0 times minus 3, add to 3, get 3. So by doing so, I have a leading 1, and below all leading 1 are 0. Now notice that the second row, I also have a leading 1 already. This is a leading 1. So I have a leading one in the first row and leading one in the second row. So what is so good about leading one is after you obtain leading one really, you make sure the entry below leading one and above leading one are zero. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to so using the second row leading one, I can say one times row two add to row three. So that I create a zero below the leading one. So this will give me second row remain unchanged. But I have add the second row to the third row, so to get zero, 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 three plus three get six. And also want to take minus one times row two add to row one to create a zero above the leading one. So this will give me 1, 0, minus 2, 2 times minus 1, minus 2, add to 0, then 3 times minus 1, add, get minus 3, add to 0, get minus 3. So in this case, I have leading 1 in the first row, below it, or 0, leading 1 in the second row, and below it, above it, or 0. Next, I move on to the third row, right? So every every row has a leading one. Move on to the third row. I know that the first non-zero entry happened to be six. So I want to make sure that this six become a one, a leading one. So what I can do is multiply by one over six to row three. By doing so, then the six will become one, and the second row no change. First row no change. So I have a leading one in the first row, leading one in the second row, and leading one in the third row now. So after I achieve leading one in the third row, I want to make sure that everything be above it now, since there's nothing below it, to be zero now. So I can go do this operation. Let's say I use a third row, multiply by minus three, add to second row. And 3 times row 3 add to row 1. By doing so, I will achieve 0, 0, 0, 1 in the third row and 0, 1, 2, 0 in the second row when I multiply minus 3 to third row add to second row and 1, 0, minus 2, 0 when I multiply row 3 by 3 and add to the first row. Now, 
This is already a low reduced formula because first row got a leading one, everything below leading one are zero. Second row has a leading one, everything below and above it are zero. Third row has a leading one, everything above it is zero. This will be the row reduced form. Now I'm going to show you how to use a calculator to achieve this and showing you all the steps. Alright, and now I'm in the menu. So I press EXE and then I need to do matrices. So let me exit first. I'm going to do metric here. F1, input the metric first. This, this metric has uh, three rows and four columns. So I'm going to pick three and third, four. Execute. Then we enter the entry minus one, minus one. 0, 0, then 1, 2, 2, 3, then 3, 2, minus 2, 3, and that, alright? So I have created the metric already. Now I'm going to do some row operation. So operation is under F1. So I want to multiply the first row by minus 1. So I can use F2. Okay, F2. Multiply by minus 1 to first row. Execute. Again, so this will give me the new first row. And now I want to make use of this now. Multiply the first row by minus 1 and add to second row. So I can use F3 here. Multiply the first row by minus 1. Minus 1 times the first row. Add to the second row. Execute. So I get a new second row. And then I want to multiply minus 3 to first row and add to third row. So I press F3. Minus 3. Multiply to the first row. Add to the third row. Execute. Okay, so I have created one zero zero in the first column. Now I have leading one in the second row, so I move on to create zero in the third row and first row above the leading one. So in this case, I can do one times first row, one times row two, add to row three. So I should press F three here. One times row 2, add to row 3. Execute. Give me the new third row. And then, I take minus 1 from row 2, add to row 1 to create 0 above the leading 1. So I press F3, minus 1, times row 2, add to row 1. Execute. So, I have a leading 1. Uh, I have finished the second column. Now move on to the third row. Now I need a leading one. So in this case, I can multiply the third row by 1 over 6. So I can use F2, 1 over 6, execute, multiply to the third row. Execute here. So now I have third row 0, 0, 0, 1. Now I must make sure that all the entry above leading one are zero. So in this case, I want to take minus three times the row three. So I'm going to press F3 here. Minus three times the row three. Then add to second row. Execute here. Right, so I get the zero above leading one. And also I want to take three times row three. So I press F3. Three times row three. Add to row 1. Execute. So in this case, I have found the row reduced formally. This is the end of the recording.